Yo, 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 YouTube. Okay, so I've had a bit of a sugary drink today, so I've got loads of energy. A straw or die. Got some uh, low wishbones. Uh, so today's video is going to be about um, fitting those. A couple of you guys asked me at uh, Autosport to post this video, so I'm going to do it. So I've got Liam. Liam! He's uh, machine polishing the old man's car to sell because uh, we might have just bought a recovery truck. So we've got to get some money back. So rather than me selling any of my toys, I'm selling my dad's car. He loves me really. Okay, so we're going to fit some lower control arms. First thing, don't you know, pump it up. Pump it up, take your car up. You can actually stand under it and buzz your wheel off. Why did he go in? Never bloody know. Drop it down. Nice and slow. That. Give it a that. And give it a that. Okay, don't uh, lose anything. Just put everything back. Get a nice little torch, brighten up your day, and see what you need. So I believe 17s. Just uh, taking a guess, but uh, let's go find out. Is it? Yes, it is. Get that side. Yes, we can. Right, okay, buzz that one off. Get it out of the way. Don't lose your camber washers, uh, otherwise you'll be screwed. Um, it's also a good time if you want to get the locking ones um, from Skid Nation, I believe. I've got some. Uh, I've got the wrong size bolts for them, so I uh, can't fit those. So that'll be a job for when I go for the eye alignment, as I like to call it. Do it all by eye. Now we'll get it down to scuzzle and uh, we'll do some proper alignment down there. Don't know why I ended the video between that clip. Now get this one. Once you get one nut off and you can't get it out, you don't want to smack it with a thread, get your spanner, stick it behind the uh, alignment bolt and use it as a pry bar. And then poof! And it comes, didn't it? <laughs> Bottom of your coil over, 17 one side, neither a 17 or 19, depend on whatever it's been fitted with. This one's a uh, 19. Pop that out, and then we're ready for the next one. Here's this little bad boy hit. Go straight through, your bottom ball joint, 19 mil. So get yourself a spanner on one side, and uh, buzz it off the next side with a socket or another spanner. Ratchet spanners are wicked for this. Okay. One undone, two undone, three undone, four undone, and don't forget this one just in here. Right, so good little trick. Once the back's off, let's give it a bit of a knockout. So we're just gonna continue like this to get that out. So then we've got some nice angle, and then it means you don't have to mess around with any ball joints and dust covers, especially if you're uh, road legal. And obviously MOT failure if these are uh, cut. So you can see these are brand new. Um, so, yeah, we'll push this down at the back, just here, and uh, it'll allow us to get to this other ball joint. Okay. Once it's dropped out, it's obviously still going to be connected just here, so you can freely swing the wishbone out, just like that, so you can get on at any angle, stick it between your legs, stop it moving, and so undo it. out. We've got the old standard one versus the destroyer die one, and if you get these uh, Powerflex pushes through, destroy or die. Uh, they can literally be pressed in by hand. Don't need no advices or anything. Just use the uh, grease what's uh, supplied with it. And uh, yeah, exact roll reversal. So we're gonna start off with the bomb ball joint mount there. You see the destroy or die ones are adjustable. Um, so set up as how you need, but don't forget. Um, seriously, you do wanna, any suspension changes at any time to any vehicle always requires an alignment afterwards. Um, so I'm going to go down to Scuzzle Motorsport for mine in the next week or so and uh, yeah, that's something I'm not going to do a video on because uh, it's quite personal um, set up of the cars but yeah, uh, really really easy to take this out um, obviously my car's been apart before so everything's not seized, uh, greased so it comes out really really easy this has taken me no more than 15, max 20 minutes to do so yeah, and that's just one side Obviously we've got to do the other side just yet, but uh, yeah, 
Okay, nice and easy. so for the install, get your hub out of the way and uh, fit these two first. I just tried doing it the complete opposite way of the way we stripped it down. Um, and it was a little bit awkward to line the uh, lower ball joint back up. So yeah, put the two uh, mounts to the subframe on first, uh, get them all jimmied up. You guys use a uh, screwdriver. Um, Cause obviously it's a bit tight between uh, the mounting points here and the bushes. Um, or use yourself a pry bar, um, line it all up and then they should just slide straight in. Don't do them up, leave them nice and loose uh, for now just so you can play with the wishbone adjustments and then obviously you can choose which of your three camber settings you want with a lower arm. You can see I've already just been trying to fit them and uh, found that doing it in uh, the same order as we stripped it and for the reinstall works best if that makes so any sense. Everything tightened up, everything fitted back on. Obviously you've got your different camber options here you can use. I've just gone for the middle setting, I don't know actually the uh, specs of which ones what at the moment but like i said it's going for an alignment after this so uh yeah tighten everything up wheel on remove the jack and uh repeat on the other side just uh broke that as well so gotta replace that gate as soon as well